perhaps were part of the treasure hidden in my heart. There are other memories hidden away that bring me joy every day. The friendships and the adventures I had in Scotland, where I learned the arts of survival and leadership. In the church where I learned that no matter what the question was, that Jesus is always the answer. And it was a church camp where I saw so many of my fellow campers give their life to Christ, and where I worked hard on sarcastic humor, something which the boys at 13 and 14 seemed to master, but which I had given up in my old age. <laughs> Memories of playing football seemingly every day of my childhood and learning that some things in life would require teamwork and sacrifice and maybe a few broken bones along the way. One place in my life that is a part of many treasured memories is the Lazy Susan Inn, a restaurant that once overlooked the intersection of the Potomac and Occupy Rivers in the town that Lydia and I grew up in. I love the homemade bread and apple butter they serve. I love the treasure chest near the restaurant's entryway that any child was welcome to open and dig in and we with little novelty toys to take home with them. You can see in the picture on the screen the wonderful view that's uh, towards, trying to think, is this side of view, whatever. But anyways, one of those is the Potomac and the uh, Occupant Bay, and the Occupant River going there, and we live up on the Potomac shore, somewhere up in there. And I live off the shore, because my parents weren't as lucky. But uh, we were not far from each other. The Lazy Susan Inn was a place where my Louisiana born dad taught my brother and sister and me as we rudely stared at the people around us that only Yankees and geese stare. And then when our voices got too loud, he reminded us that those same Yankees and geese are loud. And we certainly didn't want to be like those Yankees and geese. <laughs> By the way, these references, the Yankees, the Confederates, and all this, when I was growing up in the 60s, the early 60s, uh, that was the propaganda we were fed. And so you'll have to blame my dad for all that. I, I have had some pretty decent Yankees over the years. Uh, not too many, but a few. <laughs> The Lazy Susan Inn also sponsored the weekly meetings of the Woodridge Rotary Club. And when I was 16, my dad took me to a Rotary meeting, not telling me that Charlie Taylor was going to be there. Anybody remember Charlie Taylor? Sonny Jerkinson's primary receiver, Hall of Fame, wide receiver. I remember sitting next to him. You know, I was playing football at the high school. I was a, I was a tight end. It was this wide receiver who I thought they were kind of smaller football players. His arms were as big as 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 my uh, as my the calf of my leg. It was incredible how big this guy was, and I was in heaven sitting there with him. Lazy Susan was a place where place where my dad treated our entire football team to steak dinners after we defeated with a tie in the hot game of the 1972 season, and it was a place I chose to formally propose marriage to Lydia. After first asking for her hand in a long distance phone call from college in Nashville, I remember taking Lydia up to the Lazy Susan Inn and sitting in the car overlooking the way it was in downtown Woodridge. I made the promise to Lydia, Lydia that if she married me, someday everything she saw before her would be hers. Hope to be young and smart, Alan, even with proposing. And by the, by the way, that was the last time I ever lied to Lydia. <laughs> Aside from what I just said. <laughs> Everyone has spent places like that in their lives. The Lazy Susan no longer exists, but my treasured memories of that place remain in my heart. Now I feel at this point the Holy Spirit nudging me on and encouraging me, encouraging me to stop meandering through my memories like an old codger. So here's my point. Let's not ever deprive ourselves of the blessing of memory, of appreciating just how blessed we are to be loved by a God who has poured out his grace upon us in so many ways. Let's not ever miss a chance to be thankful, especially for God's gift of friends. 
In a few moments I have left, as time keeps on moving closer and closer to the conclusion of my time, if you as pastor, I want you to know that I am trusting God to create enough room in my heart for all the treasured memories I possess. Not only from Florida, but from new creation in Chesapeake and the first churches I served down in Charlotte County, Phoenix and South Island Memorial and New Hope. You, every one of you, even those of you who might not have especially liked me, never laughed at my jokes, even the ones of you who dozed off during my sermons, to every person in this sanctuary and beyond, who partnered in ministry with me from Virginia to Haiti to Jamaica to Mississippi to Kentucky and beyond, you need to know that you all have a place among the hidden treasures of my heart and that I will never forget. I want to especially remember and honor all those who are not in their regular place in the pews today because they are with the Lord in heaven, gathered around his throne and singing out of the of praise. All those whose memories we treasure because they were God's ambassadors in our lives, blessing us in countless ways. Even if my memory fades as the years advance, as I'm sure it will, I know that Lydia and my children and my friends will remind me that I was truly blessed in so many, many ways to be called by God to be not just a pastor, but a friend to this church, the churches across Virginia and beyond, for one third of my life. And I will say one last time, as it was said at annual conference, in the words of Captain Quincy Taggart of the Starship Galaxy Quest, never give up, never surrender. Hold on to your memories and hold on to God's dreams. Never allow the world to convince you that your life is nothing short of a miracle. And live this life, this miracle to the fullest, knowing that you are treasured in the memories of your brothers and sisters in Christ. And above all, you are treasured by your Father in heaven. I treasure you and I love you all. God bless you.